Welcome, Grade 10, to Second Quarter, Week 6, Module, entitled, Man in the Mirror. Before we begin our discussion, our module, let us first set a conducive learning space. Next is to seek assistance from your parents or guardian in answering this module. Next is to take down important concepts with this video. And last is to reflect and apply the concepts that you have learned. For our most essential learning competencies, we need to predict the qualitative, the characteristics, the type, and magnification of images formed by a plane and curved mirrors and lenses. In this module, you will learn to demonstrate an understanding of the images formed by the different types of mirrors. Furthermore, it will aid you in making choices on selecting the, the right type of mirrors for specific purposes. Specifically, you will be able to number one, investigate the reflection properties of light using plain mirrors. Number two, Distinguish between converging and diverging mirrors. Number three, apply ray diagramming technique in describing images formed by mirrors. And last, derive and use mirror equation in predicting the characteristics and position of an image formed by mirrors. Reflection of light is the bouncing back of light to the same medium it has been traveling after striking a surface. Reflection of light can occur on rough surfaces or smooth surfaces. Smooth surfaces like the mirrors which can be spherical or the plane mirrors. Kapag ang, mga, ang reflection of light ay tumama sa mga rough surfaces, they produces or they give us a diffuse or scattered reflection. Kapag naman ito ay tumama sa mga smooth surfaces, nagbibigay sila sa atin ng mga regular or specular reflection. All these reflection of light are all governed by what we call the law of reflection. Laws of reflection states that the angle of incidence is equal to the angle of reflection and the incident ray, the normal, and reflected ray are all lie in the same place. The reflection of light can be categorized by two types. Specular or regular reflection is defined as the light reflected on a smooth surface at or definite angle. Diffuse or regular reflection is produced by a rough surface that tends to reflect light in all direction. Lahat ng reflected rays ay iba ang pinupuntahan at hindi na parallel sa isa't isa. Mapapansin na mas marami ang bagay na magbibigay ng diffuse reflection compared to specular reflection. Example, yung ating mga pader, yung dahon, uh, piraso ng libro o yung pilas ng libro o yung mga tela or tela o yung ating mga sinulid. They are not smooth or polished. Or they give us the diffuse or irregular reflection. Take this for example. We have then a mirror and aluminum foil. Basically, these are smooth surfaces. So it tends to reflect regular reflection. But once na crumpled natin yung isang aluminum foil, mapapansin na the reflected rays are all in all direction. Mirror is any surface that is smooth enough to produce regular reflection of light incident upon it. There are two types of mirror. Number one is the plane mirror, is one with a flat surface. Usually, images formed in a plane mirror are always virtual, 
upright, and the same size as the object. The same distance between and behind the mirror as the object is in front of the mirror. And laterally reverse. When we say laterally reverse, it means that the left of the object becomes the right of the image and vice versa. The second type of mirrors are spherical mirror. It has a reflecting surface taken from the surface of a sphere. It may be a concave or a convex. Terminologies on spherical mirrors includes number one, center of curvature. It is the center of the sphere from where the mirror was taken. Number two, the vertex. It is the center of the mirror. It's sometimes called the pole of the mirror. Number three, the radius of curvature. It is the radius of the sphere. It is the distance between the center of curvature and the vertex. And it is denoted by capital letter R. The center of curvature is denoted by capital letter C while the vertex is denoted by capital letter V. The principal focus is the point where the reflected rays meet as in the case of a converging mirror or the point where the reflected rays seem to come from behind a diverging mirror in convex mirror. And lastly, we have the focal length. It is the distance from the pole to the principal focus. Since the principal focus is midway between the center of curvature and the vertex, the focal length is one half of the radius of curvature. And it is denoted by small letter F. The type of image formed by concave mirrors at different object positions. So let us talk first the concave mirrors. If the position of the object is at infinity, the image form is at the focus. The size of the image is highly diminished and the nature of image is real and inverted. So in describing the image form by concave mirrors and convex mirrors, we, all, we describe them by using the pattern LOST. L is for the location, O is for the orientation, whether it is upright or inverted, size, bigger or smaller, and type is real or virtual. If the position of the object is at C, the position of the image form is also at C. The size of the image is same size. The nature of the image is real and inverted. Take note that we are still on concave mirrors. So ano nga susunod natin? Kapano naman kapag ang object natin ay nasa uh, beyond C? Sabihin, mas malayo siya dun sa ating center of curvature. Now, the image form is between the focus and the center of curvature. The size of the image is smaller and the nature of the image is real and inverted. Sir, paano naman po kapag yung object natin ay nasa pagitan ng focus and center of curvature? Okay, that's a good question. Ang image na nabubuo ay beyond C and the size of the image is bigger than the object. Siyempre, the nature is real and inverted. How about if the position of the object is at F? Siyempre, the image form is at infinity. It is highly enlarged and it is real and inverted. So, kailan lang tayo nagkakaroon ng virtual and erect image? Okay. If the object is positioned between P and F, F. Okay, P is principal axis. So the position of the image is behind the mirror. And the size of the image is enlarged and the nature is 
erect and virtual. Those are the summary of the images formed in a concave mirror. So let's talk about the summary of the images formed in a convex mirror. So meron lang tayong dalawa. So number one is at infinity. Kung yung object natin ay nilagay natin sa sa sobrang layo dun sa ating mirror. Nasa, uh, the image form is at the focus. It is highly diminished. Ibig sabihin, mas maliit siya kung ikukumpara natin sa real object. It is virtual point size. Okay, so that is the nature of the image form. Now, paano naman kapag inilagay natin yung ating object on anywhere on the principal axis? So, saan mabubuo yung image? Okay? So, the image form will be between the pole and the focus. Okay? Between the pole and the focus. It is diminished, meaning it is smaller than our object. Siyempre, it is virtual and erect. Okay? Those are the two summary of the images formed in a convex mirror. Mirror equation and the magnification equation. The mirror equation expresses the quantitative relationship between the object, distance, DO, the image distance, DI, and the focal length, F. It is expressed as 1 over F is equal to 1 over DI plus 1 over DO. The magnification equation relates the ratio of the image distance and object's distance to the ratio of the image height and the object's height. It can be written as M is equal to HI over HO is equal to negative DI over, neg over DO. The sign conventions for the given quantities in the mirror equations and magnification equations are as follows. Focal length is positive if the mirror is concave. Focal length is negative if the mirror is convex. Image distance is positive if the image is a real and located on the object side of the mirror. Image distance is negative if the image is virtual and located behind the mirror. Image height is positive if the image is upright and therefore also virtual. Image height is negative if the image is inverted and therefore also real. Sa pagsasagot ng inyong mga module, huwag kalimutang basahin ang bawat directions at tumingi ng tulong sa inyong mga magulang. Maraming salamat, grade 10. God bless everyone and keep safe.